Hey, I'm gonna share my experience with the Webflow Partner Program. I'm gonna tell you how I got in, how you can get in, my experience with it, and if you should apply for it too. So basically the Webflow Professional Program is a way for Webflow to be able to send leads to Webflow Professional Partners. Um, they can send them over to this profile or this directory of profiles who they have certified and deemed Webflow experts. It's different than the Webflow expert exam because you can take an exam and get you know certified, but that's different than the Webflow experts profile and directory. Um, they're two separate things. But basically you can put information like project minimum, what types of things you do, do you design, do you do des development, do you do accessibility, do you do SEO, do you do JavaScript, that sort of thing. And basically people can search by location and through all these different things and they can pick out the best partner for themselves. So the way I got in was I applied back in March of 2021. I applied and I waited several months and didn't hear anything back. After several months, I decided to shoot them an email saying, hey, just checking in, uh, just checking in to see if you guys have gotten my application, what the status is of it, just because I haven't heard anything back. Um, this was, I think, August of 2021, so it was five or six months later, and they sent me an email back. They said, hey, uh, you know, we accept people based on um, how many leads are coming into the system. Um, we'll review your application, and I thought that was kind of just them saying, you know, shoo. <laughs> um, but I waited a week, and I was like, oh, okay, I, I guess I didn't get in. And then two or weeks Two or three weeks later from that, I got another email saying I was accepted and I was pretty pumped. Um, you know, I just got accepted to the Webflow Partner Program. Again, my, you know, I was doing fine outside of this, but I thought this was just kind of the next step in the business just to be able to say, yeah, I'm a certified Webflow Partner. So after I got accepted, it took about two, three, maybe even four weeks to get my information and the profile uploaded to the experts.webflow.com site. But once I got added, it was kind of official and I wrote up a little news article on my website saying, hey, I've been accepted uh, as a Webflow professional partner. They also added me to their Slack channel, which there are hundreds of other professional partners that are a part of and there's a bunch of different channels. Um, and then you also get added to their professional portal, um, which I'll talk about in just a second here. Um, so now that the onboarding was all taken care of, let's talk about my experience with uh, the partner program. So in terms of the Slack channel, honestly, I never go on there. There are like seven different channels. There's like, you know, introductions, there's questions, support, um, up for grabs. Up for grabs is basically a place where people can uh, send leads that they don't want that other people can take if they want them. But again, they're leads that other people don't want, which means you probably won't want them either. And they're typically within the thousand dollars to the $5,000 budget range, which doesn't really fit me because my project minimum is five grand and above. Uh, in terms of support, the Webflow Experts team is very, very good at providing excellent support. Um, you know, and I'm sure that they have times where they get a ton of requests um, because they probably have times where they bring on a lot of professional partners and then times where it's kind of slow. Um, but as Webflow grows, they're gonna continue to add more and more professional partners. Um, so I would assume the support team would grow, but um, Krista, she's kind of the main one who heads it up and she's been phenomenal with getting back to me about a couple emails that I'd sent. Um, I recently upgraded my branding on my website, so I wanted to upgrade on the web, upgrade that on the Webflow Experts program as well. Um, and she was, she got that all up in a day or so. Um, so I was very, very, very happy to see that they've got good support um, for the experts program as well. So let's talk about the benefits of the program. Um, is it worth it? I would say 100% yes, it is worth it. Um, but it does depend on what you're looking to get out of it. There needs to be realistic expectations. Um, you're not just gonna join and all of a sudden you're just gonna blow up. I'm sure some companies get a lot of leads from it right away, but not everyone does. So what I would say is, so there are a few things that you get out of it. One is you get to be a part of these exclusive meetings. The meetings are basically other, they can range from having other partners basically go over some of the things that their business does and how they're successful and they share that with other professional partners. There are also quarterly meetings where you get to see kind of like some financial information about Webflow and you also get to see some of the updates that Webflow is working on. Personally, I don't get much out of either of those. I don't, I've only joined like one of those meetings just because a lot of that information is out there on the internet. You can go on YouTube and find the information. Um, you know, you don't have to have a set time where you do it, you just do it on your own time. And the updates are kind of nice, but in all honesty, 
they're gonna get sent out to the public anyways, and it's not like the Webflow professional partners get much exclusive access to those. They're gonna be released you know, six months to a year later anyways. So I don't see much of a benefit, but it is kind of nice, nice to see that you do get a little bit of a head start in that regard. Now, in my opinion, probably the biggest benefit is the leads that you get from the Webflow Professional Partner Program. Now, I'm sure there are some businesses that are to a certain point where maybe the leads they get just aren't high enough quality from the program. I don't know, you, you know you'd have to ask them. But for me, my project minimum is $5,000. Um, I do design development SEO. The leads that I've gotten from the pro professional partner program have been quite a bit higher quality than the leads that I would get, say, from Upwork or um, LinkedIn or any a lot of other sources. Um, that's not to say that they all turned into lead or turned into actual business because what ends up happening is they'll probably go on five different experts profiles and they'll send out a bunch of requests from a lot of these experts and that's what they tell me on the call. They said, yeah, you're one of the many that we reached out to, which is a little unfortunate because it's kind of like a race to the bottom. A lot of them are still looking for cheaper quality work. So I can't say that the leads uh, have high conversion rates, but I will say they are a little, little higher quality than the typical lead that I would get. So over the last probably five or six months, I'd average anywhere from one to two leads from the experts program per month. Um, uh, and I'm sure some of the leads that I get through my website were actually from the experts program, but they just filled out the form or the uh, the calendar form on my website. Um, and I haven't, in all honesty, done the best job of tracking all that. But I would say on average, probably two leads a month from the partner program. And I would say maybe I have a 20% close rate on those people who actually come in and some of them I say no to some of them you know we just figure out you know maybe you should go find someone else for the project there are lots of other partners out there they don't fit my skill set they're looking for custom solutions that I don't necessarily provide or they just don't have high enough budget the next benefit of the partner program is the badge that you receive you can you know add the badge to your website um, you say hey I'm a webflow professional partner I'm certified by webflow themselves and that's a huge selling point so even if people aren't coming to you from the partner portal or the partner program, um, you can actually, you can say, Hey, I'm a professional partner and it is a, a nice selling point. And then the last benefit is the 20% commission that you can get out of your customers. If you want it, I know not everyone takes advantage of it. In all honesty, I kind of forgot about it. There's this partner pro portal that you get access to. And I completely forgot about it. I signed in for like the first time in like seven months, um, just earlier today to kind of check out what was all back there. And you can get 20% commission on, you know, the, the clients that you have set up in Webflow, which hey, that can be nice, a little extra boosted income. I haven't done it because I completely forgot about it, but I would say that's the last benefit. So again, I wanna say like, you do not need to have access to the Webflow Experts program. D don't wait until you get access to this to start growing your business. You do not need to have access to this. I was growing my business well before I got added to the to the partner program, I'd say this gave it just a tiny bit of a jolt, but in all honesty, I'd be pretty close to where I'm at right now without being part of the partner program. Cause like I said, I don't, a lot of the leads that come in don't even turn into clients. It's more so just to say I'm a Webflow certified partner. And some people take a look at that and say, oh, okay, this guy might know what he's talking about. But in reality, if you don't get in, don't worry about it. Cause in all honesty, they're adding people based on how many leads they have coming in and not necessarily how good you are of a developer. It's about all, all about the timing of things. And I just happened to send them an email at the time that they were adding more people to the program. So that's my experience with it. If you should apply for it, I mean, that's up to you. Don't, don't, don't worry about it too much if you don't get in, um, but hopefully this video helps, we'll see you.